Question nine, how can you determine the empirical form? So generally, to make magnesium oxide, we have magnesium plus oxygen makes magnesium oxide. So since we don't know the empirical formula, I'm just going to put MgXOY. Uh, so typically, you might be given the mass of magnesium and the mass of oxygen when you would have a question like this. So let's say we had a mass of magnesium equal to 0 0.124 grams. And we had a mass of oxygen. I'll just put mass of oxygen, like a single oxygen atom, is 0 0.071 grams. First, we would find the number of moles of both of them. So we do that by dividing by their molar masses. So the molar mass of magnesium is 24.3 grams per mole. So this gives us a number of moles of around 5.1 times 10 to the negative 3 for magnesium. And for oxygen, it is 0 0.071 grams divided by its molar mass, which is 16 grams per mole. So its number of moles is 4.4 times 10 to the negative 3. So this was step one, finding the number of moles. Step two would be to divide by the lowest number of moles. So let's write out our empirical formula. So the no lowest number would be the 4.4 times 10 to the th negative 3. So I'm just going to show how you would divide it. And a number divided by itself is just 1. So 5.1 divided by 4.4 .4 is around like 1.1. .1 but we're just going to round it to 1, and oxygen is just 1. So our empirical formula is just MgO. And the junior tutor said, To determine the empirical formula of magnesium oxide, the following steps and calculations must be done. Calculate the number of moles of magnesium and oxygen based on the mass. The mass can be determined from the percent composition of magnesium oxygen in a compound. Okay, so they might give you percent composition, but basically you just need to find the masses. After you find the mass, you can calculate the mole ratio by dividing the number of moles by the smallest value among them. Write the empirical formula with the mole ratio as the number of atoms. So this solution is correct. Thank you.